All right, so today we're going to do section 30-1, which is rate of change. Um, we've already talked a lot about rate of change um, being similar to slope, or actually the same as slope in a line. Um, and if we take a look at the definition, it says rate of change is a relationship that matches uh, or a ratio of the change in y over the change in x. So one of the things that you might have um, on your um, word wall is that rate of change is equal to the change in y over the change in x. Um, so change in y over change in x is what rate of change is. So we're going to talk about rate of change. Um, today we're going to do some modeling in terms of um, some lines. So taking a look at the little math terms in the corner, it does say rate of change. So again, to go from point A to point B, we would go up 3. So that vertical change or the change in y is 3, and I would go right positive 5. So our horizontal change is 5. So therefore, your rate of change is 3 fifths. All right, so um, this problem is actually missing a picture. Um, that was just something that was left off by um, the uh, publisher. So I'm going to go ahead and make an XY table for us. It should have the point 0, 0, 2, 5, 4, 10, 6, 15, and then 8, comma 20. So we should have 0, 0, over 2, up 5, 4, up 10, um, 6, up 15, and then 8, up at 20. So you'll see that that is a nice straight line. Um, we connect those points, make those points a little bit bigger so we can still see them. Um, so it is a linear, um, a linear graph, and it's talking about the height of the water in the pool. So the time in minutes that, that you're filling the pool, and then how high is the water in inches. So the first question says determine the rate of change. So we can either do it with the graph or we could do it with the table. So I'm going to look at the graph because they did want the graph to be there. So if I look at two points, I'm just going to pick the first two points. We went up 5 and we went over from 0 all the way to 2. So don't actually count the boxes. Look at the table um, or the markings below. So we know that our rate of change has to be the change in y over the change in x. So it went up 5 and right 2. So our rate of change is just 5 halves. If you wanted to plug it in, into the calculator, you could get 2.5 if you wanted. Now it says describe the rate of change. So this is what some of you have struggled with in the past. we got to use words. So it didn't just go up 5. Remember, it went up 5 inches. And what went up 5 inches? The height of the water, right? Because that's what this graph is saying, is the height of the water in the pool. So we could say the height of the water went up five inches and how long did it take the time is in minutes so we went over two so that y value is um, the time in minutes so we could say it went up five inches in two minutes okay so every two minutes that water is going to go up five so it doesn't matter what points we would have used it goes up five whoops up five over two up five over two up five over two we could also see that if we did have a table from the table, our y values are going up 5, which we've done before, and our x values are going up 2, so that's we could get the 5 over 2 that way as well. All right, so taking a look at the next problem, it says you can also see rate of change from a table of values, kind of what we were just talking about. If x is the time in minutes and y is the height in inches, the first thing we have to do is look for the changes in both of them. So if you notice, these are all going up 1. These are all the whole way down going up 2.5. So again, our y values, our vertical change, our change in y is 2.5, and our change in x is 1. So 2.5 divided by 1 is just 2.5. And again, on top we had inches per every minute or per each minute. So in this case, our rate of change would be 2.5 or 2.5 over 1. All right, so taking a look at this table, let's take a look at our rate of change. And again, remember the, change, the rate of change, I'll do that up here, is the change in y over the change in x. So let's look at our y values first. Notice that all of these are going up 3, and then all of these are just going up by 1. So it's 3 over 1. So we know our slope, or our rate of change, we could just call it 3. You could leave it as 3 over 1. I'd be okay with that as well. All right, but again, the most important point, 
point that we have to worry about is we've got to actually describe it in words or interpret the meaning of rate of change. Okay, so if we look at what the y and the x's are, this is our cab fee in dollars, and then our x is the number of miles. Okay, so we could say something like a cab charges $3, right? That's our fee. So our fee is $3. Um, we could say each mile or for every mile or for one mile. It doesn't matter how specific you are, um, but it's basically saying the same thing. So it's $3 per mile or each mile. All right, and then the last thing is you can also look at rate of change from the equation. So somewhere on your word wall, you have y equals rate of change times x plus your initial value, okay, or your y-intercept, okay? I know some, somewhere on your word wall, you also have the word slope. Slope and rate of change mean the exact same thing. So if we take a look at this equation right here, uh, whoops. Uh, y equals 2.5x, it's y equals 2.5x, and technically it's plus zero. So we know our initial value is zero. We know there's x, so that means our rate of change has to be 2.5. So in this case, our rate of change is 2.5. Okay, it says, how is this rate of change in item one and example a represented in the equation? Um, and it would just be the number that's being multiplied by x. So we could say rate of change is the number multiplied by our x in the equation. All right, so if we take a look at example three, and this is actually where we're going to stop for today. I'm going to break this up into two days. Um, it says each representation determines the cost of the beach bike rental. Um, from a different shop, find the rate of change for each. Um, this one is missing, or letter C is missing a graph again, or so I don't know what the publisher was thinking, um, but it was supposed to have a point over here at, oops, at 4 comma 28. So there was supposed to be a point here, and that point is over 4 up 28, and then there was supposed to be a point at 0, 0. So there's our line, oops, not too straight, but that's okay, going through there. All right, so each one of these is a little bit different. One letter A is an equation, letter B is a table, and letter C is a graph. So let's take a look at the rate of change. So we said that the rate of change is the number multiplied by x. So here in example one, that's not too bad. Our rate of change is just equal to 20. All right, the next one, we've got a table, so we've got to do a little bit more work. If you notice here, these are all going up by three, and those are our y values. Our x values are the number of days. So all of these are going up by one. So our rate of change, remember, is the change in y over the change in x. So it's up three over one. If you want to divide, you can go ahead and just make that three. All right, the last one is the graph. So again, we have a point at over four up 28 and a point at zero, zero. So again, it's change in y. So how far did we go up? We had to go up 28. And we had to go over, don't count the boxes, actually look at how far did we go over on the bottom. And that's a positive 4. So we went up 28 and over 4. So again, our rate of change is y over x. So it's 28 over 4. That I would like you to actually divide in your calculator, which gives us 7 or in your head. So in this case, our rate of change is just 7. All right, so your homework tonight is to go a couple pages. I've also posted this assignment on Schoology. We're going to page 416. So it's page 416, and you are doing problems 17 through 21. Okay, please get those turned in on uh, Schoology. I'll get them graded and get the feedback back to you. Don't forget, you can always go back and do any of the assignments that you've missed. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.